The biracial butterfly before me with a boob joke was hilarious, and I wanted to compliment it by having an obvious boob joke. Like, an eye is down here, please pay attention to me. Please look at me. Thank you. I have terrible anxiety, so if you laugh, I won't take a Xanax tonight. Please keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I still, I, last time I was here, I told everyone that I, um, I'm from Oak Harbor. That's still accurate. So if anyone, thank you. If anyone's looking to carpool, I'm available. I come here every Mondays. Thank you. Um, my, uh, my best friend from Baltimore is here. Anyone from Baltimore? Sounds about right. Thank you. These jokes are going to make sense to any of you. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, my favorite thing about Baltimore is I found a shirt that says Baltimore. There's there's more than murder here. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> setting your standards up for what to expect. Like yes, we have murder, but we also have dining establishments called Hip Hop Chicken and Fish. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I'm not it's real. Very, uh, good about transitions, but my next joke's also about murder. Um, <laughs> I um, um, and I think the most embarrassing thing that can happen as a parent is if your child becomes a murderer, because people are just gonna look at you like they have, they know, they know I had something to do with this somehow. I didn't do it well. I should have breastfed longer. I should have. I should have given organic Cheerios or whatever the fuck. I should have claw the diaper to him. Imagine, <laughs> imagine a group of adults, you know, talking about their adult children and like Tabitha is opening her vaginal rejuvenation clinic. Oh God, that sounds about right, guys. Um, <laughs> Steven's opening his hair replacement clinic. And my Jeffrey has just bought, bought an adult-sized freezer, and I'm very proud it's his third one. <laughs> um, the, the second worst thing that can happen as a parent, the most embarrassing thing that can happen is if your child becomes a Christian. Um, like if Chester just walks in the house one day like, Blessed family, I'm happy we are gathered here today. Allow me to bless this casserole before we deceive our bounty. Where the fuck is the murderer? <laughs> like, no, Chester, I'm calling your brother Jeffrey. I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> so, uh, I still don't know Thank anything you. about transitions. Um, but this next joke um, has to do with weed. I don't know if you guys are consumers of the product a little bit. Yes. yes. I can't smoke weed anymore. I've decided. It's been 10 years, and I'm finally able to admit that I don't know how to smoke weed. I had an edible the other day, I was inspired, and I had an edible, and then um, I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm not high, I'm not high, I'm fine, I'm doing great. Take me to the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die now. In my edible, whatever the fuck, I flushed down the rest of my edibles, as well as my Xanax, and my, the rest of my anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> And then I hid the knives from myself, so I'm no longer allowed to smoke weed. My name is Kyla, thank you. Woo!